My name is Dr. Vasan. I am a uroandrologist um, practicing at Manipal Hospitals, Bangalore. Um, semen analysis is done. Um, first of all, you have to, the male has to partner has to ejaculate. He should have an abstinence. That means no sexual activity or voluntary or involuntary discharge of the semen for more than 48 hours and he should collect in a clean container and either he collects it at home or he collects in the facility he should be given a privacy he should not spill the sample and he should after collection hand over the sample to the laboratory within 45 minutes and he should not have sexual activity that means the abstinence period should not be more than 14-15 days. So if we follow these guidelines, what happens in the laboratory is they wait for what is called as liquefaction because semen is a very thick phlegm like fluid. So it has to become watery and it will spontaneously become watery uh, because of intrinsic enzymes present in the semen sample within about 20 to 30 minutes. And it's, if it's kept at room temperature, then you just examine under the microscope. There are various types of microscope available where they can count the number of sperms and they count how many fields are there and it's a mathematical calculation. They also count the number of moving sperms and they classify the movement of the sperms into three grades are good moving sperm, a slightly slow moving sperm, a non-moving sperm and we have criteria of how the shape should look like and the shape is roughly if you look at a face the chin to the top of the head and cheek to cheek if you if you look at it like a sperm it should be 1 is to 1.6 that is the way we look at it so when you have these criteria it becomes very simple to assess so that's the way it is done and the report is generated